Our final dig takes us to the far reaches of northern Scotland, to the island of Sande in Orkney, and an investigation into an ancient settlement of Britain's earliest farmers. Generations of archaeologists have excavated these islands, revealing that Orkney was home to thriving settlements 5,000 years ago, including the remarkably preserved houses of the Neolithic village of Skara Bray. But until recently, there had been no sign of human habitation on this part of Sande. So when archaeologists chanced upon what looked like Bronze Age tools sticking out of the beach at Cata Sands, they were really excited. Any discovery here provides us with a rare opportunity to find out more about Orkney's amazing prehistory. But the archaeologists are really up against it. After thousands of years of lying hidden in the sands, this site is in real danger of being swept away. So can the team act fast enough and recover those precious clues before they're finally lost forever? The team can only dig when the tide is out. 22nd of August, tide coming in. As you can see, it's going to get higher day by day. It's hard to imagine, perhaps, in this sunshine, but they're at the mercy of the elements. The weather can change at any time. You can see quite clearly here that uh, the storm over the last couple of days has actually exposed quite a lot of the archaeology. And this is essentially how this site has been first exposed and then eroded. As the surface layers are removed, the team discovers what they'd hoped for, the outline of a house. We've now defined the edge of the wall quite nicely. So now we're in a position where we've got the internal floor layers now showing up. The next job now that we've defined the location of the house is really to get into these floor deposits and try and see what was going on in the house. They suspect that this is part of a late Neolithic settlement built like Scara Bray 5,000 years ago. And from their finds, they think that it lasted into the Bronze Age. But as they dig further, they quickly make an unexpected discovery. You can see we found a Neolithic half. You can see the author stack here. The half which is quite a rectangular shape. The shape of the hearth is surprising. Unlike the square hearths of Scara Bray, it's rectangular, which suggests it could date to much earlier. Could this be evidence of the predecessors of the people who founded Scara Bray? If so, it will offer a rare opportunity, promising to reveal more about Britain's first farmers and how they transformed the landscape. I've invited Vicky and Jane into the lab to show me those prehistoric stone tools that first alerted them to the existence of the site at Catasans. What an incredible site. It's amazing, isn't it's it? It's fantastic. How did you discover it? Well, we were walking along that beach one day when it was really, really windy, so we had to have our noses right really close to the ground to stop the sand getting in our eyes. And we started seeing tools much like these actually, these great big ugly looking things. See, I, I find that quite amazing that you walked along the beach and looked at those and thought they were anything other than just natural rocks, but they're not natural. No, they're actually Bronze Age tools that were used for cultivation. So this is uh, a roughly shaped mattock, so you can see the, the business end is down here and it would have been hafted here. Yeah. So these are flaked stone bars and this is the same kind of um, idea, only this one was used for, as the point of a plough. So these are very characteristic of the early Bronze Age. These are Bronze Age, are they? But you think you've yes. got earlier layers there as well? Yeah, so this key artefact, if you look at it on that side, it has a dimpled area. And then mm. if you turn it over, it's extremely flat, isn't it? It's completely flat. So that's been ground flat. Mm -hmm. So this is a grinder, and it's also called a Napahawa grinder because they come from an early Neolithic site called the Napahawa on Papawestry. So that would be associated with grinding 
grain, but in the very early Neolithic time when far people were first farming in Orkney. So it's pushing it back and back and back. Mm -hmm. uh, this looks like it could still be Bronze Age, and then you're going back in time and saying, well, actually, this looks a bit more like early Neolithic. Yeah. It is quite incredible, isn't it, this, this point where we get the Neolithic taking hold, because this is a massive change in people's lives. They've been hunter-gatherers up until this point, and suddenly they become farmers. Yeah, I mean, it's part of the broader early Neolithic story of Britain and that first occupation of Britain by, by pioneering farmers. And I think Orkney would have been an exceptionally rich environment for people to, to move into. It's got very fertile land. It would have been perfect for early farmers coming in with, with uh, grain and crops and animals. Um, and it would have been a wonderful place for them to live. After so much archaeological scrutiny of Orkney, it is incredible that Catasans is revealing new secrets about our Neolithic ancestors. It will be fascinating to see what future digs here can reveal about this period of the agricultural revolution.